elections are concerned and the elections. I request all bishops, apostles, pastors, levelets, kindly do not take sides. Whoever will be voted in, that is your member in one way or the other. Don't take sides. Pray for them. Preach peace. Preach peace. All right, now to matters education. Education Cabinet Secretary Fred Mutiangi has launched phase one of a pilot program meant to kickstart the new education curriculum. The pilot expected to start next month will see 470 primary schools across the country introduce competence-based skills to pupils in anticipation for a full rollout of the new system come next year. And our reporter Timothy Otieno covered this particular uh, session with uh, the cabinet secretary and that particular launch now joins us live from our city center studios. Good afternoon, uh, Timothy. Thank you for joining us. What exactly do we expect come next year? Well, basically, Akisa, before we even move to next year, uh, the 470 primary schools across the country that have been selected uh, to act uh, as the pilot phase for this particular exercise will begin the exercise, the new curriculum, basically, uh, next term, which begins next month. But basically, what we were getting from the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development is that uh, most of uh, the syllabus will pretty much remain the same, except for some instances where they will be reducing the workload or the amount of content that a child needs uh, to undergo at a particular time. Remember, this is a pilot uh, process that is just taking place during the early years curriculum. So the early year curriculum touches on pre-primary education, what we now know as nursery school education for two years, and then from standard one to standard three, which will then be called grade one up to grade three. So that's the pilot phase, and that is, those are the classes that will be affected during this pilot phase system. And basically, the head teachers across all 470 schools, 10 primary schools per county, selected on the basis on a scientific method, and therefore the schools will be based on either schools that are, that are in rural setups, urban setups, uh, faith-based schools, community-based schools. So they've ensured that they have gotten a broader perspective and included as many schools as possible. So the 470 will be introducing the new system progressively during the second term, and this system should go on up to the end of the year, after which, if all goes well, they are going to be rolling out that program throughout all other schools from January 2018, that is next year. But for now, of course, the cabinet secretary himself did mention that he is confident that this new system will improve the quality of education in the country. The current 844 system has been criticized of being more of exam oriented and with a bulk of information that not necessarily is practical to the 21st century. So what we're going to be seeing is a system that will be more inclined to the needs uh, of the 21st century, and that's why one of the main pillars of this system is the digital literacy program, where we've seen tablets rolled out across some of the schools. But indeed, there are going to be challenges, considering that there are some schools that haven't actually received these particular tablets. There are schools that have not, don't even have electricity to support some of these, uh, some of these infrastructure that have been put in place by the ministry. And that is what the cabinet secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangi, did say that the pilot phase will help them pinpoint and identify these particular challenges and then they'll iron them out as we progress. So the bigger picture is that uh, the last batch of students who are going to be sitting the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education are expected to sit that exam in 2019, after which there will be no national exam as we know it. The last batch to sit the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education should do that paper in 2022. So the